Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Darius from DariusCooks.tv, and today I just got another fantastic recipe that you're going to love. It is my Red Snapper Sheet Pan Fajitas. They are so simple to do, so easy, so flavorful, and uh, you're gonna love them. So let's get started with how we're gonna make these today. So first, I gotta get some onions and peppers ready to go. So I have an orange pepper that I'm just gonna slice off like half of it, that's all we need, all right? And then I'll slice them down into strips like fajitas go, all right? I will do the same thing for a red pepper, all right? And then I've got some red onion that will do the exact same thing too. So we'll cut a little bit of onion off onto the sheet tray, the onions go. Let's do a little bit of olive oil right on top of here. All right, we'll also season with lots of salt and pepper. Clean hands, get in here and mix this around. And we'll leave this on one side of the sheet tray. I'll show you why in a minute. All right, oven's preheated, 400 degrees on convection. And we'll drop this bad boy in the oven and let these onions and peppers cook up. Let's make the rub or the seasoning for our red snapper, all right? So in a little bowl, I've got a packet of Sazon. You know, I love this stuff. Shout out to all of my Latinos who watch. And then we have to load this up with lots of flavor. So here is some fresh cracked black pepper. Put some salt in here. All right, we've got some granulated garlic. All right, so we'll add some chili powder right to here. Here we go with a little bit of ground oregano. Good stuff happening, I'm trying to tell you. Not only do I have ground oregano, I've got some ground onion powder, all right? A little bit of cumin, because you know you gotta have that, right? A little bit of sweet paprika. And lastly, I've got some dried cilantro, which is good if you can find it. All right, and then I'll give this a good stir, and we have a seasoning ready to go. Now let me show you this red snapper with just regular kitchen shears. I like to just come in here and cut these down into strips that kind of match the peppers and onions that we've already got working out in the oven. And then we'll take some of the seasoning and we will sprinkle the seasoning in here with a little bit of oil. And then we'll give them a stir. And we'll let this hang out on the side just for a little bit. In the meantime, we should look at making a really good sort of sauce that brings this whole thing together. So I said ranch dressing has to go, but of course we can't do any ordinary ranch dressing. We have to do uh, a spicy avocado ranch dressing. So it's easier than you think it is to do, all right? So in a blender or food processor, we're gonna add in all of the good things we can find. So we'll start with some mayonnaise and some sour cream. We're gonna put a little bit of sugar in for a little sweetness. Why do we need sweetness? Because we're gonna add some vinegar. So I've got some tarragon vinegar. You can use apple cider, regular white vinegar if you want to. A couple of dashes of that. So lots of fresh cracked black pepper need to go in here. Ranch dressing from scratch, I know, right? When do we do that? All right, let's throw some salt in here. All right, and then for the seasonings, let's do a little bit of granulated garlic and then a little bit of onion powder. All right, and then what's gonna make it really distinct is we've got some avocado and then a jalapeno. So, look at that. I'll save that to lick later. We're gonna have a fantastic avocado ranch with some kick to it that we can put right on top of everything. Look at that. Mm. 
that needs nothing but these sheet pan fajitas. That is some good tasting sauce. Our onions and peppers are just about done. All right, these are sizzling nicely. Look at that. So let's go ahead and add that fish that's well seasoned, well marinated, right to our pan. All right, and then we'll pop this right back into the oven and let this cook all the way through. All right, so while the fish is just about cooking through and those vegetables, I've got some corn tortillas. And one of the ways I love to get these ready is just placing them on a hot flame right on top of the stove. So I got a flame there just for a moment. Let them get nice and toasty and then we'll flip them and we'll keep the process going. So I just got some limes that I've just cut up to get ready. I'll do a little bit of thinly sliced jalapeno. I've got the other half of that avocado that I'll take out and get sliced. I do believe the yumminess known as red snapper sheet pan fajitas is ready. And uh, look at this. We get those caramelized onions and peppers. We've got the perfectly cooked red snapper, perfectly seasoned. I think it's just time to assemble, huh? Let's do that. So we will start with our tortilla. All right, so then we will add fish to the bottom of each of these. Really good seasoned red snapper. And we've got veg that we're gonna just lay in each one. Let's do a little slice of avocado. Got a little lime for each one. A little slice of jalapeno. Got a little fresh cilantro for each one. Got a little bit of queso fresco. All right, and then let's not forget that ranch that we did with the avocado and the lime and the jalapeno. So we'll just put a little bit of that. So there's only one thing left to do and that's to taste this yummy plate of deliciousness. Now, I gotta be very honest with you. Um, I like a little extra on mine. So I'm gonna put a little extra sauce right here on this one. I'm gonna do a little squeeze of lime right on top. Oh yeah, okay, and tacos. Fajitas, they're all supposed to be a little messy, so that's what this is. All right, here we go. We're tasting this. Mm. It's delicious. Not to mention super healthy. You gotta give it a try. Recipes like this, you know what they're gonna be. On my website, DariusCooks.tv. Two things I gotta tell you, as I always do. Food is my life, life is my food. Until next time. I gotta wish you happy cooking, man. Mm. From my heart to yours. Bye, y'all.